Okay, finally an answer. You're going to get to hear what it sounds like when you take a Traveler Guitar Pro Mod X and drop into it a Seymour Duncan Billy Gibbons Red Devil pickup. I think one of the best pickups out there. Uh, I'm going to be doing the same E minor noodling that I was doing on the before video with exactly the same settings on both my amp and my pedal board. Um, I can play other things, I swear, but I want you to be able to do a side-by-side, -side, so you should be able to compare the sounds that I got, get here with the sounds I was getting before, and you'll also hear the additional sound, the parallel, which the three-way switch gave me. So with no further ado, uh, here are the sounds. <laughs> Thank you. 
I could show you this on all the settings, but the main thing is this pickup, amazing sensitivity, amazing sustain, um, absolutely one of the prettiest pickups I've ever played with. And uh, it fits perfectly inside the Traveler Pro Mod X and works like a dream. And um, I can't be any more happy about this. So I hope you've enjoyed watching the video. I'll have a little epilogue and tell you a little bit about uh, how much it costs and, and that kind of thing. Okay, epilogue. I wanted to make some final comments about the modifications that I've done on the Pro Mod X. First off, um, how good were they? Am I happy? Would I do it again? Well, it cost about 200 UK pounds, uh, something like that. Um, would I do it again? Oh my, would I do it again? I think it's great. I think I've taken this thing from being a travel guitar that I really loved and it was fun to have a guitar I could travel with to being a really good guitar that happens to be a travel guitar. Uh, this Seymour Duncan pickup, the guys at Seymour Duncan really deserve a round of applause for the Red Devil pickup. It is so very good. It is the best PAF sounding pickup I think I've ever played with. Um, and certainly, although it's probably not as good as the PAFs that were the originals of 59, this, this is things amazing. And the fact that it fits in a single core route is great. Real pickup snobs would probably say it's not really getting that 59 sound, but boy, do I love it. I've jammed with it now. It's inspirational. It makes me want to play better. Um, yeah, absolutely worth the money. Um, the upgrade wasn't that hard. Uh, there were some trick trials and tribulations along the way, mainly due to just clumsiness on my part. But it has pointed out some things that I want to say about the Pro Mod X uh, overall. Uh, would I recommend buying a Pro Mod X with the stock hardware in it? Yeah, absolutely. It's a it's a it's the best designed uh, travel guitar on the market, in my opinion. However. Uh, travel guitars, um, as much as I praise you, there are a few things that I've, I've got to criticize now that I've done this mod. Uh, first off, the first one is, as you recall, I discovered that the pot on the humbucker in it is a linear pot. That's just wrong. Uh, it, it shouldn't be a linear pot. It should be a uh, audio taper pot. It's just a bad spec. So, so you guys should do that differently. Uh, the second thing is um, I bought it with the non-locking tuners. Um, and I'm glad I put in these Grover locking tuners. However, um, if I had just bought this with the locking tuners, they probably would have been fine. I would say don't market it without the locking tuners because this thing's really hard to string if you don't have the locking tuners. Um, the problematic component with regard to tuning, I am absolutely certain of this, is the roller tailpiece. Uh, I would say that that roller tailpiece should be made a little differently, perhaps redesigned to not be so sticky. I think the spacers, which I think are just a simple plastic here, should probably be nylon for the low friction, uh, and uh, or even Teflon, although getting black Teflon is going to be a little uh, pricey. But but basically, uh, this thing uh, can be done better. When I take it out, I'm going to leave the hell out of it and, and make it even better, but it, it, it could be better. Finally, uh, pickguard. 
uh, putting this pick guard in was a real gem of an idea, and I think you should just include a pick guard um, or, or offer it as, a, as, as an option because in any of these guitars, all you're going to do is just basically get something that fits in that slot. I'm using magnets to hold it down. You probably don't have to. You probably could do it another way. But basically, having a pick guard on one of these is great. It, it, it makes it so much better, easy to remove, easy to tune. That's what um, that's what you should do with this. Uh, the last mod I guess I did that's of, of mods I did that are no, of note. I put the three-way switch in it. It's a good addition. The three-way switch uh, might be a good option to offer. And I put on the tone pot. Yeah, you don't really need the tone pot, but I put it in anyway. So anyway, overall, uh, really pleased with it, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video.